Oh, I'm just stuck on something, yeah? Um, yeah, cool. I mean, I don't really give a shit, I'm just supposed to say something nice to you. Uh, I'm loving it, you know, can I tell you why? Because I had the unfortunate pleasure of uh, performing in a play at like Edinburgh Fringe, yeah. And I experienced what is called the Scottish summer, which is what my Polish man calls winter. It's fucking cold, okay? Um, seriously, but before I offend any more people, I just want to say um, they call me the foot putter. I put my foot in it, yeah. <laughs> or female Sheldon Cooper, to get the reference, yeah. Because uh, I was recently told I'm autistic. Yeah, I know, with those boobs. I mean, seriously. <laughs> doctor hasn't seen the boobs. Gotta flash my doctor next time. And I get it all the time. People come up to me and say, Mama, you don't look autistic. I'm like, stop it. Stop it. I mean, you don't look like. You actually do look like a cunt. But, I mean, you know, but I know people actually know a lot about autism now. They say, don't worry, you just take things literally. And I'm like, that's bad to me next, but thank you. Uh, but uh, you know, therapy for autistic people is really expensive. Uh, so, uh, so I thought I'd tell you something about myself. So you might actually know me. Um, there's a movie franchise, Fantastic Beast, uh, and I'm not talking about my boots. It's just what I call them in private. Uh, so in the franchise, uh, there's this really horrible, horrible witch, uh, Evil, and she kills this really cute baby. That's me! Yay! Yay! Not playing a psychopath, love killing children for money. Uh, it's wonderful. Listen, I've got 11 nephews and nieces. That shit gets nine. You're welcome. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I haven't reached the height of Lucy Ledby. Yes, I did go there. Uh, and the ambition. I love like humor. I know. I just wanted to be the first comedian to. But I know, uh, obviously, fictional baby, don't worry. I'm really sweet, okay? But um, yeah, therapy for autistic people is really expensive, so I'm going to share something. So, my name is not actually Maya Bloom. My family name has no vowels. Yeah, my friends couldn't afford them. No. It's really tough childhood. It's really poor. I don't know why you're laughing. It's really poor. Like, imagine if you're this autistic kid bullied at school and all you can shout at your bullies is, you know? <laughs> I have no vowels, it's really traumatic. I don't know what so uh, I came here, I just want to say this is a racist friendly space. I'm actually British, don't worry, okay? I've got the passport, but um, I don't know why, whenever I say my family name, the variety of roles I get as a performer, super wide, so it starts from Polish prostitute, Jean, I give you a blowjob. That's the way you want, okay? And then it's Russian whore. Okay, or Romanian lady of the night, and sometimes it's a Bulgarian housewife that fell on hard times, cost of living crisis, <laughs> has to give a blow to your neighbor, okay? John, I'll give you a blow to you'll be quiet, my baby asleep next door, and husband back at five. Okay? <laughs> I mean, it's wonderful, okay? But sometimes I also play a cleaner, okay? And because of me too, I get to play farmer. Yeah! <laughs> I mean, it, it's, you know, I, I just, I, I know it will shock you, but no one in my family actually is a sex worker or a plumber. Like, I had this really difficult call with my mum. I called her, I was like, mum, listen, you can tell me. Mum, listen, you were young, you had to do what you had to do. In communist Poland, I'm not gonna judge you, mum. I knew you were a plumber, fuck, you know? <laughs> you know um, and I, I don't really understand this because like, I've been here for over 20 years and I feel British and I, you know, I've got the passport and I'll tell you how I know that I'm British. I made the list, okay? So, number one, why not I'm definitely fully British, number one, Fucking hate Polish people. I hate fucking this <laughs> Hate my family. All right? They come here, learn, learn English, make jokes. Fuck off, okay? Seriously. <laughs> Number two, why I'm definitely British, okay? Look in the mirror, I fucking hate myself. What a fucking artistic wheel. I can't even afford therapy. Like, fuck, do you know? I hate myself, you know? <laughs> definitely British. And number three, just want to whine all the time. I'm fucking wet. They're fucking Scottish people. Get the fuck off, like, you know? You don't want to be <laughs> Fuck off, you know? And I know I'm fully British, you know? I don't understand all these students, but I thought I'm going to embrace my heritage, okay? And I'm going to just see the benefits of being born in Eastern Europe, okay? So, daily xenophobia at work, and there are hundreds of other benefits, like, um... I mean, there, there are, actually, there are benefits. So I'll tell you what, especially now, after Brexit, whenever I go to any civilised country, okay, I see the queue of Brits, and it's so cute, guys. <laughs> and I, I'm, all I want to say, I will one day, all I want to say is like, ah, you want my eel pass, you can kiss my ass, yeah? Marry <laughs> yeah? me now, 5,000 pounds more. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm single, by the way, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> And I say, listen, I don't like you, I'll just stop you in the face. <laughs> and they just go, what you know? You know? Also, Melania showed us how far a hand job can get you. 
Do you know what I mean? I've got good hands. I could be the next, you know, I could be the next person. So, you know, thinking about my heritage, I, I, I you know, I'm thinking of starting OnlyFans account, yeah? But, uh, yeah, and my name is Michael, and you've been lovely, but if you didn't like my jokes, I just want to say, I want my friend is outside the door. <laughs>